so ever since I started calisthenics, the front lever was one of those exercises I always wanted to learn. It was just such a cool exercise. And so um, about two years ago now, I started learning it. This is my front lever journey. So in those early stages of the front lever, I really didn't have, um, I didn't really film much. So I don't have many clips of that. But basically I started out with a tuck front lever, which I could hold for probably about like two seconds. Like honestly, one of those like really, really shitty tuck front levers. <laughs> but so I moved on from the tuck to the advanced tuck. So um, if you don't see any clips of that, that took a while, that took ages. So um, don't be discouraged. First of all, I kind of hit a barrier at the straddle. I couldn't go any further. And so what I realized was I just wasn't strong enough. Um, so during the winter of 2021, I really just focused on weighted pull-ups. That's the one thing you need for your front lever. Honestly, like some people just unlock their front lever just because the weighted pull-ups uh, are so strong. So I would recommend really just to focus on weighted pull-ups initially. So I hit that barrier and I decided for uh, six months, I'd just do weighted pull-ups and weighted dips um, and just to strengthen my pull-ups. So my, my weighted pull-ups went from, uh, I think it was, my max was 42 kg, was a, was a one rep max, to uh, 50 kg. So uh, my one rep max uh, increased by a lot. And I was sitting at, I think, 70, 70 to 75 kg body weight.
Okay, so I, it took me all of the summer to realize that the straddle I just couldn't get right. So I decided to scrap it and just start again. So I regressed again, which meant I went to the one-legged front lever. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, that was kind of a rough video, hopefully a motivational video about how uh, <laughs> chasing, chasing three seconds of front lever after two years uh, is actually finally worth it. Okay, catch you guys in the next one.